Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be reviewing this Hyena Droid Bomber set from 2008. This is set number 8016. It was released on December 28th, 2008 and it retailed for $26.99. It has 232 pieces and if you want to buy it now it will cost anywhere from $40 for a used condition to $140 for a sealed box. Now let's take a closer look at the build itself and then we'll look at the minifigs later on. It has a few play features built in, like this. If you pull on this peg here, it will release these two torpedo looking things, which I think are supposed to represent bombs being dropped, which is definitely cool. The one problem I have with this is that these red tips here stick out and are very noticeable when you're displaying it, and can kind of ruin the look of this. Another play feature that's included is the ability to go from docked form into a flying form like this. You do that by pushing these wings here forward on this like technic hinge and then this head here, this head just kind of pops up and you just push it down like that. And I definitely like this feature. Uh, they obviously had to include it because that is what this hyena bomb fighter thing does. And I think that they did it pretty well. One problem I have with it, it, it they made the wings extremely, like, non-sturdy. These things, like, flop around like crazy. And they're not built well. Just to show how flimsy this thing can be, I'm just going to lightly tap the edge, and you can just see the entire thing moves. And that's, like, barely touching it. And because of the price points, which is $27, I think that this would be more, like, marketed towards kids. And if you have a kid playing around with, like, this flimsy kind of thing, it's going to lead to breaking more often, getting wrecked, pieces going missing. It's just not that great. I think that LEGO sacrificing, like, the sturdiness of it was necessary to get the shape down. Because it looks very accurate to what it's depicting, the actual hyena bomb fighter. So I'm glad about that. It's just how wiggly it is. And it can be annoying when like moving it around and displaying it because then you gotta like, these little flaps here, you gotta like curve them right because they can move around because there's two hinge points. So you gotta move this one and then this one sometimes moves in like that as well. So just like displaying it can just be a little bit difficult, but it does look nice. So at least it has that. Overall, I'd rate this build a 6 out of 10. It's just like the flimsiness of it that makes it rate lower. I like the play features that they included. And the overall shaping is nice. It's just, you know, that flimsiness. Anyways, let's move on to the minifigs. This set comes with three of these rocket droids. And as you can see on their back, they have this little rocket backpack thing. Made from a stud and binocular piece. But besides that, there's nothing much else to it. It's the same mold that they've used for like a very long time now. I like the colors that they use though. I like that red, brown, I think it's called, and gray. Looks very nice together. I would have liked it if they would have included maybe a different kind of droid. Maybe even like a super battle droid. That would be nice. But the selection that they chose was fine. Not great. Not bad either. It's just fine. This is a decent set, and I don't have any other sets from this time, so I'm not sure if all the sets were like this, or it's just, just like a one-time thing. But from, like, the standards of now, it's not the best, because of how flimsy it is. The minifig selection's not the best. But it's not a terrible build either, it looks nice, you know, does what it's supposed to do. It can go from dock to flying forms, like, it, it's nice. Some good play features. But it's just not the best. That's it for today's video. And if you like content like this, you can go check out our channel. We have other stuff like this. We have other videos. And that would be very greatly appreciated. And we're going to do more content like this. More reviews. More like memes and stuff like that. Anyways, bye.